So let's talk affine transformations. If you see the tab here, I'm moving the UI up so we can see the actual vectors, but I call this tab affine transformations. And basically the difference between an affine transformation and a linear transformation is translation. And translation is, means you, you move something somewhere. And that'll become more apparent as we work through the course. But right now I want you to notice I have a grid here much like uh, we had on the basic matrix multiply tab that I showed in the previous video. I now have instead of one blue vector I have four. Okay, so so notice I have four four. Well I'll get to this third component in a minute, but four four. So we go over one, two, three, four, and up one, two, three, four. But really it's four times this basis vector plus four times this basis vector. And then I have a negative four four. So negative time four times this guy would bring us back and up. Alright, so that's 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 this vector here. And then I have four negative four, which is four negative four. This one Okay, and then the last one, negative four, four. So you can see we kind of have a square. If you almost can imagine the blue vectors disappearing there, and the end of the vectors become points or dots, and we connected them, we would have a square. All right. So then, the basic matrix multiply tab on the previous video here, I took this matrix, this these two basis vectors, and I just slammed them in here. Right. This this upper left hand corner. Let me grab my pencil here. It's the upper left hand corner matrix all right so so we still have our basis vectors 1 0 and 0 1 then we have these two slots out here this 0 0 and then this 0 0 and this 1 here and for for this video we're actually going to ignore all of this and actually we're going to I just have to slide a little thing here going out that we're we're really doing some 3D stuff in 2D, but there's a spoiler there for some future videos and some future products but but basically it's it's really 3D we're going to see it though and picture it and view it on our screen in 2D, all right? So 1 0 0 1, all right? There's our 1 0 basis vector, 0 1 basis vector, and then all of these vectors are linear combinations of those two. It's it's 4 4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -4 -
but but that's all that's going on there all right is is uh I'm messing around with the basis vectors and uh that changes all the resulting vectors all right so what if I want to do a translation though if you notice like if I change these they I'm kind of remember we started it with an original box in fact let me let me reset this. I have to actually start the program. I don't have an added a reset button. So let me restart the program. Okay, you remember we started out with this box and and uh sorry I jumped the screen there, but these two basis vectors. Okay, we started out with this box, but there's no way for me to to grab these um these these basis vectors and move this box over to the right or to the left. I can stretch it. So the one point, let's go 1.5 there. Oops, let's go back. Oh, give me zero. Give me. Oh, I'm off. Let's go 1.5 here. You see the box got a little bigger, all right. Um, but but I still the box is still centered around the origin here, all right. What if I want to take this this box and I want to move all these vertices as a group? I want to move all of them. That's kind of bad. To the right. Okay. Well, I can't. There's no way to do that around uh, with these four sliders because these four sliders are linear transformations, meaning we maintain the origin. Okay, but but now that I'm I'm using a three by three matrix and interpreting it as two by two vectors and kind of wasting these other cells out here. Let me show you. Let me let me restart the program again. Don't don't blame. I now have my perfect box again, but I want to move the box to the right. Well, the way we do that. Is using these two sliders. Okay, let me grab this one. Watch the box as I grab this one. This represents the X. You see my box? I still have my original box there. All right, these points are still. It still makes up a box. Notice though, I'm kind of warping my vectors a little bit. That's why this is called an affine transformation instead of linear. I'm, I'm, I'm really screwing around with my vectors. I'm not maintaining maintaining relationships between these things. But still, it's kind of a hack. But again, remember this is. Little spoiler note from future video: We're doing a 3D transformation, uh, linear transformation in 2D. But uh, but watch, I can move my box up or I can move my box down. There, I'm getting my translation is what that's called. It's translation. I'm moving my box. I'm still maintaining a box, but I'm able to move it now by using these two values. And notice that if you look at these purely as matrices, this is a three by three matrix times a three by one, three by one, three by one. Um, the 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 values come out okay, all right, and you can look at it that way, and and we'll be ignorant for now and just be happy that it works. But later we're going to ex explore why this actually works and what the geometric interpretation is. Okay, and then these values we'll just leave alone for now. Um, again, I can I can mess with any of these sliders. It's good for you to code this up and play with it and see what's going on and and ask questions and gain questions from it and learn from this. That's the whole reason why I built this thing.